Hi, this is Yoke okay, Master. This question appeared in CSIRnet June 18, 2017. The question is the correct combination of reagents A and B to affect the following transformations are okay. So we have from this uh, bridged cyclic compound. So on A it gives this compound, on B it gives this one. Okay, so first option is so there may be A, A is equal to catalyst, osmium tetroxide, and uh, N methyl morpholine and oxide NMO and B is equal to B that is uh, in the first one iodine and uh, silver ester okay and uh, aqueous NUH and second option is A is equal to organic MnO4 and B is equal to and uh, iodine and silver ester and uh, water and aqueous NUH and third option is A is equal to iodine and silver ester aqueous NUH catalyst osmium tetroxide and a TMEDA tetramethylene ethylene diamine tetramethyl ethylene diamine TMEDA and NMO and methyl morpholine and oxide and fourth one is A is equal to beta chloroperpenzoic acid aqueous NUH and B is equal to alkaline KMNO4 okay these are the options given below so we have to find the correct options for product A and product B from this bridged cyclic alkene okay right so from from this reactant to get this product we have two options okay so first one is alkaline K MnO4 and second one is osmium tetroxide catalytic amount of osmium tetroxide NMO okay so these two reagents can do uh, can act on uh, this alkene to form one comma two diols in this manner okay so if you observe the mechanism so MnO4 Mn or osmium okay right so alkene it acts as nucleophile and it attacks and manganese and it acts here okay and further steps produces manganese or osmium okay and then further in aqueous conditions we can get they all like this okay all right and the other possibility but it is in less that means right so it can add from below okay so from this we can write it
okay and here is also ORR OSMIM okay so but it is in less and it is in high compound or higher proportion all right so why like this it is in high higher proportion and this product is in less proportion so what is the reason so now we have to check stereochemical aspects of reactant the given reactant is so if you observe this bridge cyclic alkene so we can write it has two hydrogens here and hydrogens of this one here okay so if manganese potassium uh, KMnO4 or osmium tetroxide osmium tetroxide if attacks from above okay If attacks from above they get less steric repulsions okay right so that's why the major product is this one okay major one and if you observe If manganese or osmium tetroxides attack from below, okay, if attacks from below. manganese or osmium there will be severe steric repulsions in between these hydrogens and this bulky manganese or osmium tetroxide okay so from this after getting this product so it is less stable because of this steric repulsions and it is so lower in percentage okay or less right right then so in if you compare in between potassium al alcoholic KMnO4 and uh, osmium tetroxide so which one is a better reagent in the given options okay in alkaline came for manganese uh, when you compare with manganese with osmium osmium is more bulkier when we compare with manganese okay and in the given option osmium is in with uh, NMO so this is coaxident and this coaxident increases activity catalytic activity of osmium and that's why osmium is required in a less amount so that is simply K 
catalytic amount so when we compared with this manganese so these all conditions make use of osmium so we have to go for osmium tetra tetraoxide okay so and if you observe in this so osmium so there is a less amount of chances for manganese here uh, enantiomers and when you apply this osmium there is no chance because because osmium is biggest one so bulkier one and it causes more repulsions that's why we can get only this major product okay so for in the given options so osmium tetraoxide is a much better catalyst to get this product okay so in the option a so catalytic amount of osmium tetraoxide nmo is used so a okay next and if you go for the product b now so from the reactant to get option b so now we are go for uh, pre-washed acylation so actually that is pre-washed modified woodward hydroxylation okay so in that so we are adding iodine and pHCO2 silver okay so in the first step Nucleophile reacts with iodine. Okay. So from this, we can get like this. Okay. All right. So why iodine uh, attacks from ABO? Already I told you. So. If you observe the steric repulsions uh, compared with this one and when you compare with this one, so here the steric repulsions are more when you compare with uh, these hydrogens, less here. So that's why hydrogen fastly it gets attacks from above of this alkene, cyclic alkene, okay. And then C double bond O C minus it attacks from below of this iodine because already it is in bulk here next so here iodine okay then Convenient, we can write it as like this. Okay, then the lone pair electrons on oxygen attacks here, and iodine gets eliminated. So from that. you know so this it is added from below side right so back side that means so it is also from below so so here is positive charge and then it is on aqueous NaOH so OH minus attacks on here so from that we can get so now
okay and further addition of h plus so it attacks on that means the lone pair attacks here from that So here is an H plus. So it comes on here and it comes on here from this. So from this we can get. So this is the product. So this is Woodward modification. So this OH groups goes below of this cyclic bicyclic compound. Okay. So from this, so we can give the option. So this one iodine and silver restore and aqueous any OH. So option B is this one. Okay. So from this we can give the and option one is a correct answer for the given problem if you like my videos please subscribe my channel and click like on my videos and uh, i'm ready to give online classes and uh, i'm ready to be a part of any institutions if uh, you are interested in my lecture thank you